All right, you guys, today we'll check out how to make this a wavy abstract background here on Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size as a reference. Let's go to the gradient and I'm gonna drag a line like this. And I'm gonna double click on these circles and change up the colors. I'm gonna go with the cyan and I'm gonna go to the opposite, double click, select the pink, click OK. And I'm also gonna add another one here in the middle. So when you see the black arrow transform in a white arrow and it shows a plus, you can click on it and it's gonna add another handle. So I'm gonna double click, change, and click OK. Let's go and right click on the gradient layer, convert to smart object. I'm gonna go and delete the background and I'm gonna go and select the rectangle tool and I'm gonna draw a line like this. Let's go to the fill, change it to gradient and I'm gonna go to the 90 degree and change it to minus 90 degree angle. And we're gonna need to create a lot of copies of this. So let's press Control Alt plus T to activate the command. And I'm gonna go and drag and drop this shape and it's gonna duplicate automatically. And I'm gonna position it somewhere here, press enter. And from here, all you need to do is press Control Shift plus Alt plus T. So this way it is going to multiply. Just press the shortcut a lot of times to create a lot of copies. And I'm gonna press and hold shift, select all the copies, right click, convert a smart object. Let's go to the filter, distort, and select the wave. I'm gonna go with these settings. Number of the generation is one. Wavelength, this is the minimum and the maximum. Amplitude, 78, 190. Scale is all the way maxed out, click OK. And we're gonna right click again, convert a smart object again on the waves. Press Control T. I'm gonna press and hold Shift Rotate. And I'm just gonna stretch it out all the way. Double click Release. And I'm gonna go to the file, Save As. You rename it as Displacement. Make sure it's a PSD Photoshop file. Click on Save. Now I'm gonna uncheck the layer with the waves, select the gradient layer, and I'm gonna go to the file, distort, select displace. Horizontal and vertical scale is gonna be 230 by 230, click OK. And I'm gonna select the file with the displacement that I saved, click on open. Now we got this really cool displacement going on, let's go and activate the first layer with the waves, and I'm gonna change up the blend mode to hard mix. Let's duplicate this wavy layer, I'm gonna press Ctrl J, I'm gonna change up the blend mode to normal, and I'm gonna go to the image, adjustments, and select invert. And I'm gonna go back to the blend mode, and let's select the linear light. And now but least, we're gonna go to the adjustments, select the gradient map, click on the gradient, and I'm gonna go down, and here I have all the gradients basically saved, and I'm gonna select this one. So basically this is how it looks. We got like black, blue, black, another orange right next to it, yellow and white, click OK. And pretty much that's how I made this liquid wavy background here on Photoshop. Thanks for watching.